Hi, Internet. Today is Friday, December the 7th. Uh, I haven't had my shot yet today. Um, I'm supposed to be having it tomorrow, but as I'm in the States tomorrow for my birthday, I turn 21. Um, I'm going to have to have my shot today. And since my day is going to be ridiculously busy, I thought I would record a video ahead of time uh, rather than waiting till Sunday evening to take care of it. So today will be my fifth shot. It has been over a month now of HRT. And uh, I'm a little disappointed with the fact that all I seem to be noticing is hair and acne. Shed singled hair. Um, my weight's been steady. I haven't been losing weight like I was before, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty pumped about turning 21 and being able to drink legally in the States. Uh, I've been able to since I was 19, uh, because our drinking age here in Canada is 19, which is awesome! Super cool! So, I figured that I would go out in the States and get drunk with my mother. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, I didn't really get drunk on my... I got a little drunk on my 19th, but not, like, falling over drunk. I've never actually been falling over drunk, and I think that's something that I'd actually like to experience um, at least one time. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bad idea. Think about things before you do them, Murphy. No. Um, yeah, and then a week this Sunday, Charlie gets in. Yeah, and then another week after that, just a little longer actually, I think, I think it's eight days after that. Yeah, eight days after that, my girlfriend gets in. So I'm pretty pumped about that, I have some cool plans for while she's here, and uh, I nearly finished my December ween shopping, which is awesome. And uh, actually I have some really interesting, I guess it's interesting to me, but not really to anyone else, interesting news. My mother has been rather generous lately, you know, she bought me a new jacket and work boots and stuff, and that was cool. Uh, so I didn't expect anything for my birthday, but then out of the blue she says, hey, you know that dad, your, that ring your dad gave you? Not the dad your ring gave you, that would be absurd. <laughs> uh, my father, before he died, he gave me a ring that he picked up in Mexico, and I used to wear it all the time, but my fingers have gotten too large and sausagey to wear them. Such is the curse of being a big truck of a man. <laughs> um, so, I, I can't wear it anymore. I love it to bits, but I can't wear it. So, she said, okay, we'll go down to this jeweler and we'll see if we can get a copy made. Um, but large enough to fit. So. I'm getting the same ring, essentially, made, just with a slightly different design, and it'll be incorporating the design on my tattoo. Uh, my tattoo is an eight-point nautical star, um, or a compass rose, as they're also called. Uh, the eight points symbolize family, unity, and harmony, and the nautical star is for guidance. So that is what I got in memory of my dad. I got it the summer before last. Um, I actually was planning it since before he died. We knew that it was coming, and... It was pretty hard, um, but, you know, at least we had time to adjust to it, to the idea, which a lot of people don't get, so, you know, that was acceptable. Um, but yeah, also on my tattoo, I have a little star on the West Point for Charlie, who I've known, like, we, we've known each other pretty much all our lives, and <clears throat> she's one of the most important people in the world to me, so we're, uh, pretty tight. Um, so I'm getting a, 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 a compass rose on the ring to sort of tie it into my tattoo, and it'll actually be fitted for this finger, because um, I wear a ring on this finger, but I don't really like it. It just, it's kind of feminine and thin and weird. I liked it when I got it, but now I don't. So, yeah. Um, and I wear this because, you know, girlfriend.
committed. Yeah. I have a habit of somehow accidentally picking people up. And it never goes any further than, hey, do you want to go out? No, sorry, I'm in a relationship. But it's it's really awkward, and this kind of forestalls some of that stuff. Actually, it's really weird. Uh, what I do for work is I go to schools, and I talk about why it's not okay to use words like faggot or queer or dyke. And, uh, and then I talk about the history of these words and how bullying affects communities. So it's a really cool job. It's a really sweet gig, and I love it. I've been doing it for three years now. Uh, so at one school, we had ambassadors, student ambassadors. It was, like, the coolest thing ever. Um, they followed us around, and they, like got us whatever we needed and made sure that we had coffee and food and they fed us lunch and I was like this is sweet I want to do this at this school for the rest of my life because I mean like I get paid for it but you know I don't get paid for travel time or food expenses or anything and it would be nice if I did because traveling is expensive but yeah so we had ambassadors and mine kept asking like oh are you single and like all these questions and I, I honestly did not get it until my co-worker was like so you and this girl got some chemistry huh and then I realized no 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 even if I wasn't deeply in love in a monogamous committed relationship with my wonderful girlfriend who I love then I'm 21, and I'm not really into high school girls. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. So this this kind of thing actually happens all the time. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit scary. <laughs> and uh, only I would be complaining about the ability to magically attract women, right? Oh, Murphy. Okay, uh, so yeah, next week I'm probably gonna drag Charlie into one of my videos because Charlie. She's, she's the tits. Charlie is awesome. There's a reason she's on my tattoo. Charlie is awesome. Also, I'm nearly done Christmas shopping for her and it's really exciting because I found a bunch of really cool stuff, so. Yeah. Alright, uh, happy December ween season, guys, and I will... See you next week when I'm legally able to drink in the States. Yay! Bye, Internet.